many cross-platform app development platforms were peacefully existing on this planet, but then something new named Flutter comes up and steals the show. What is Flutter? Why does it exist? And why has it become so popular? Let's find out. It all started with a rumor around a mysterious public repository by Google on GitHub. The name of the repository was Fuchsia, and this repository was partly written in a seemingly new programming language. The name of the language was Dart. But Google did not talk about this repository in public at all. After making the eager audience wait for a long long time, Google announced Flutter, a cross-platform application development toolkit. And guess what? Flutter and the applications that would be built on Flutter would also be written in Dart. By the way, Fuchsia happens to be the name of Google's new operating system currently in development. So what does it all mean? Now we know that Flutter is a cross-platform mobile application development framework. But in I.O. 2019, Google announced that Flutter could be used to make even web applications. And recently, Google had also announced that Flutter eventually will be used to make desktop applications as well. So according to the facts that I have told you so far, Flutter can be used to make cross-platform mobile applications, web applications, desktop applications, and even applications for Google's upcoming operating system, Fuchsia. Sounds revolutionary, doesn't it? Perhaps this is the most exciting thing about Flutter that makes it so popular. But Flutter is known for its four core pillars. Let's discuss each of them. The four pillars are Number 1. Making application development faster Number 2. The ability to make beautiful user interfaces Number 3. Fast performance on native platforms And Number 4. The wonderful documentation provided on Flutter.dev it is not uncommon that the output design implemented by the developer is slightly different than the input design by the designer, perhaps due to some framework inability. But Flutter has a feature called Hot Reload that allows the developer to check the output instantly so that developers can change what is not appropriate. In a way, Hot Reload prevents developers from making modification right from the scratch every time they make a change. Flutter comes with a comprehensive library full of a variety of natural looking widgets. These widgets are fast and you can customize them in accordance with the given requirements. Flutter's widgets incorporate all critical platform differences such as scrolling behavior, navigation, icons and fonts to provide full native performance on both iOS and Android. Lastly, Flutter provides one of the best documentations ever made for a development toolkit both for Flutter and Dart. It is neat and very simple in nature, which doesn't call for developers to put extra effort into learning the language. Now there are also many many other amazing features that Flutter offers, but let's leave them for some other video. Also, despite the fact that Flutter has gained a lot of popularity over the last year, like all great things in life, Flutter is also not ideal, despite its amazing promises. The framework is still relatively young and is still growing and being developed. The toolkit has its own few flaws and we will talk about the disadvantages and the current limitations of Flutter in the coming few videos. All in all, I hope that I was able to give you a basic overview about Flutter. Make sure to like this video if it was of some help to you and subscribe to our channel to watch more from us in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.